Hi, it's Tom from Take Time to Travel. I'm in front of the Johnson Street Bridge in Victoria, British Columbia. Now Johnson Street is one of the trendiest areas in Victoria and boasts one of the highest concentrations of independent boutiques in Canada. It has lots of specialty shops and restaurants, all situated amongst the colorful and impeccably maintained heritage buildings. Both day and night, Johnson Street looks absolutely stunning and is one of Victoria's most photogenic locations. The street's history dates back to the founding of Victoria and also includes Market Square, which is a unique open-air downtown shopping area which we'll also be checking out today. Let's have a look. Right when you start walking up Johnson Street, you notice the beautiful architecture of the heritage buildings, all with their own unique charm and character. As you walk by bustling cafes, there's lots of very stylish fashion boutiques and shops. One thing you notice pretty quickly is the lack of big chains. There are no McDonald's or Tim Hortons here. I thought this tiny barber shop was pretty cool. There is even a specialty chocolate and candy shop. Johnson Street is bustling during the day, but I managed to find this back alley that led to this beautiful white and bright hallway lined with more boutiques and shops. On this side, the boutiques had two levels, which just looks so cool. Check out this trendy vintage clothing store. It had brands like Supreme, Polo, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, and more. I think you get the point that there are tons of unique boutiques and shops along Johnson Street. So let's head over to Market Square. Right when you walk into Market Square, there's this neat little Belgian waffle shop called Wanna Waffle. It has a 4.6 rating on Google. I couldn't resist the temptation, so I decided to give it a try. I placed my order and found a seat outside under the heater, which was perfect for people watching. So I got the waffle. It's the Brussels waffle with ice cream, banana, whipped cream, and some chocolate drizzled all over it. Look at that. It was absolutely amazing and was $11.85 including tax. After Wano Waffle, I made my way down the stairs to Mom's Kitchen. Everything was Asian inspired and was $10 plus tax. This tiny hole in the wall had an amazing 4.8 Google rating, so I had to give it a try. I got the chicken dumplings. There were 12 pieces and they looked homemade, fresh and delicious. It tasted really good too. As if I hadn't eaten enough yet, I decided to try the Green Cuisine Vegetarian Restaurant. There was a line out the door when I went. Inside, the restaurant has exposed brick walls and a very cozy feel. They have a pay-by-weight buffet with lots of amazing vegan and vegetarian options. They even have a couple of displays with vegetarian vegan desserts. I couldn't resist and got the praline brownie. The seating area has hanging plants and the walls are covered murals of natural landscapes.
I ordered the spicy peanut noodle box with baked tofu and the pad thai box with Indonesian tempeh. Both of them tasted great and were $10.50 plus tax each. They were more filling than they looked and I only finished about half of one of them. But my favorite part of the meal was the praline brownie. It was very rich. The brownie was topped with crumbled pecans and drizzled with chocolate and caramel sauce. Oh man, it was heavenly. Overall, this place was pretty amazing and I would recommend coming here even if you aren't a vegan or vegetarian. Heading out of the Green Cuisine restaurant, I make my way into the center of Market Square. I love the old brick buildings all the way around. It reminds me of the distillery district in Toronto. Besides restaurants, there are also lots of little shops in the square. There's even a microbrewery. On the second level, there are more shops and restaurants. Ao Eats is a bright little Indonesian takeout restaurant in the corner on the second level. With a 4.8 Google rating, I had to give this place a try too. I ordered the vegetarian spring roll and the chicken satay with rice and vegetables. Both tasted great. The total for both items came to just under $15, including tax. That's definitely enough food for a while. Let's head out of Market Square. At night, Johnson Street looks completely different. All of the shops are lined with lights. Even the alleyways look pretty. Johnson Street at night is truly beautiful. I love all the decorations they put in their window displays. Walking down the street makes for quite a memorable experience. It's easy to see why Johnson Street is one of the trendiest areas in Victoria for shopping. It's beautiful both day and night. I'd recommend if you come to Victoria, come down here and check out not only Johnson Street, but Market Square. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you would like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on future videos and remember take time to travel catch you on the next one